A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitanir Rajeem. I seek refuge with Allah Almighty from Satan the Rejected One. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. By the name of Allah, the Beneficent, the Merciful. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Sallallahu ta'ala ala habibihi Muhammadiyu wa alihi wa sallam. Assalamu alaikum and welcome to our segment on Surah Al Araf. Inshallah, today we will cover the sixth ruku of Surah Al Araf, verses 48 to 53. In the previous ruku, it ended on the point that after death we go to the world of Araf, known as the heights or elevations. There are two major groups, one who did good deeds and the other one who did bad deeds. There is a partition or a wall between these two groups. And some people who are on Araf, they recognize the people of paradise by their mark and they call out to the companions of paradise and they say, peace be upon you. These people are not there yet, but they want to. May Allah grant us the ability to understand the true meanings of the Quran by the grace of his Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Amin. With this dua, let's begin the sixth ruku of Surah Al-Araf. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim, verse 48. Wanada ashabul araf rijalan yawrifunahum bismi mahum qalu ma agna Ankum jam ukum, wama kuntum tastak berun. And the companions of Araf, or the heights, will call to the men whom they recognize by their mark, saying, Of no avail, to you was your gathering, and that you were arrogant. Ma avna means of no avail, or not useful. The companions of Araf are those who are aware and they can identify people by their characteristics, their traits, their speech, and the way that they carry themselves. This is also stated in Surah Muhammad وسلم, in verse 30, where it says, And if we willed, we could show them to you, and you would not know them by their mark. But you will surely know them by the tone of speech, and Allah knows your deeds. Similarly, it is also stated in Surah Al-Rahman, verse 41, where it says, The criminals will be known by their marks, and they will be seized by the forelocks and the feet. When the companions of Araf see the men that are led towards hell, they recognize them, and they say, Look, you were against the truth, and your arrogance was not useful, and could not save you from this doom. Let's go on to verse 49. Aha ulai alladina aksamtum la yana lahum allahu bi rahmatin adkhulu al jannata la khawfun alaykum wa la antum ta'zanun Are these the ones whom you swore that Allah would never grant them mercy enter paradise no fear will there be concerning you, nor will you grieve. Yana luhumu means grant them, or whatever a person gets. Aha ulai refers to the people of paradise, about whom the people of hell swore and were so sure about in this world that Allah will not have mercy on them. These righteous people are asked to enter paradise. Here, they have neither fear of the future nor regret of the past. Let's go on to verse 50. Wanada ashabun nari ashabul jannati an afidu alayna mina al ma'i aw mimma razaqakumullahu qalu inna laha and the companions of the fire will call to the companions of paradise, pour upon us some water or from whatever Allah has provided you. They will say, indeed, 
Allah has forbidden them both to the disbelievers. Afidu means pour or to give grace. In this verse, the companions of the fire, which are the people of hell, request to the people of paradise to give them some of the blessings that Allah has bestowed upon them in the form of cold, sweet water and other sustenances. The people of paradise answered, answer them that Allah has made these things haram for those who deny the truth. Let's go on to verse 51. Alladina attakhadu dinahum lahwan walaiban wagarrathumul hayauta adunya fa al yawma nansahum kama nasu liqa yawmihim hadha wa ma kanu bi ayatina yajhadun who took their religion as distraction and amusement and whom the worldly life deluded so today we forget them, just as they forgot the meaning of this day of theirs and for having rejected our verses. Nansa'ahum means we forget them, or to put out of one's mind. The people of hell are the people who have made their deen into pointless actions and games, and they have been deceived by the life of the world. This is also stated in Surah Al-Hadid, verse 15, where it says, They will call to them, Were we not with you? They will say, Yes, but you afflicted yourselves, and awaited and doubted, and wishful thinking deluded you, until there came the command of Allah, and the deceiver deceived you concerning Allah. It is a decree of Allah that such people will be neglected, just as they have forgotten the commands of Allah, and have forgotten the fact that they have to appear before their Lord, after death, and give an account of their deeds. Now, their cries are pointless, and according to the divine law, they have to bear what they have earned. Let's go on to verse 52. وَلَقَدْ جِنَاهُمْ بِكِتَابٍ فَسَّلْنَهُ أَلَى إِلْمٍ هُدًا وَرَحْمَةً لَقَوْمٍ Yu'minun. And we had certainly brought them a book, which we detailed by knowledge, as guidance and mercy to a people who believe. This verse states, we have certainly brought to them a book, which is the Holy Quran, which we have detailed according to our infinite knowledge. In the previous verse, it was stated that the reason for the punishment of the people of hell was that they rejected the signs of Allah. It is not that they did not believe them to be from Allah, but because of their arrogance, they deliberately turned away from them and denied them. And they do not think these signs are detailed enough. In this verse, this behavior of theirs has been rejected by saying that we have sent down to them a book, which is the Quran, which they have detailed according to their infinite knowledge. And anyone can easily understand it and make their lives better. Allah is a source of knowledge, and no one knows more than him. When he says that this book has all the details, no one has the right to say that this book is not detailed enough. This fact is mentioned in several verses throughout the Quran. Surah Al-Anam, verse 98, where it says, And it is he who produced you from one soul, and a place of dwelling and of storage. We have detailed the signs for people who understand. It is also stated in Surah Al-Anam, verse 115, where it says, And the word of your Lord has been fulfilled in truth and in justice. None can alter his words, and he is the hearing, the knowing. Let's go on to verse 53. Hal yan dhuruna illa ta'awil wilahu yawma Yati the Awilahu Yakulu Aladina Nasuhu Min Kabulu Kadjaat Rusulu Rabbena Bilhak Fahala Lana Min Shifaa Afa Yashfau 
لنا أو نرد فنعمل غير الذين غير الذي كنا نعمل قد خسيروا أنفسهم وذل أنهم ما كانوا يفترون Do they await, accept its result? The day its result comes, those who had ignored it before will say, The messengers of our Lord had come with the truth. So are there any intercessors to intercede for us? Or should we be sent back to do other than what we used to do? They will have lost themselves. And loss from them is what they used to invent. Fahala means so are there. Nuraddu means we be sent back. After declaring in the previous verse that Allah has detailed his book, which is the Quran, based on his knowledge, now the message is directed towards the people who, despite accepting the truth of the verses of this book, they reject it. The only reason for their behavior is that they are waiting for the interpretation of this denial, and that opportunity will come when all those who did not give any importance to this book, which is the Quran, will see that the messengers of Allah came with the truth. Then they will look for an intercessor to save them from the situation or be returned to the world so that they can do good deeds instead of the bad deeds that they did. All the assumptions these people made about intercession and resurrection after death hold no ground for them. The intercession is not possible as per law. Similarly, a dead person cannot return but moves on to the next stage of life to reap what they sow. This concludes our segment on Ruku 6 of Surah Al-Araf. Let's briefly go over what we discussed. Those who follow the truth are entered into heaven, safe from fear and sorrow, while the opponents of truth, their end is the fire of hell. The reason for falling into the fire is that in their arrogance, they deny the signs of Allah and see their deen as a game. Although they have a detailed book in which everything is explained with great clarity, such people get lost in the colors of the world and forget that after death, they have to appear before Allah and give an account of their deeds. When they are caught in trouble and the truth is revealed to them, they admit that the messenger of Allah came with the truth and seeing their terrible fate, they look for an intercessor who can save them from the situation. Or if they could be returned to the world so that they can do good deeds instead of the bad deeds that they did. Unfortunately, the bad deeds cannot be undone. May Allah grant us the ability to understand the Holy Quran and its true meanings in the light of the life and guidance of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Amin. Thank you for joining us for this segment. Until next time. Sadakullahul Aliyuladeen. Allah speaks the truth. The exalted, the great. Sallallahu ta'ala ala habibihi Muhammadin wa alihi wa sallam.